Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Last time I talked about Comfy UI security from a user's point of view. This time I'm going to talk about Comfy UI security from the developer's point of view. So we got a Comfy UI 2025 Jan security update from the ComfyUI.org, Comfy UI developers themselves. And they, of course, go into the history again. They mentioned here we have the Comfy UI LLM vision and ultralight text. I've already talked about this in my last video. So if you are not aware, please check that video out. And like I mentioned there, the Comfy UI developers mentioned here that they've already taken action on this, where we have the built-in security, the scan that's going to go in and it allows them to ban nodes when any new threats are discovered. What's new here is they also mention about their preventive measures. The first thing that they mention here is about the eval exec calls and these functions allow code to execute dynamically. It is also possible to use this type of function for REC attacks, which means remote code execution. So you get things like key loggers, ransomware, or even full system takeovers. The developers mentioned that starting immediately, all developers which are using these functions in their code will receive a warning. In one month, they are going to block those custom nodes. And in three months, they will completely ban those projects. Now, I'm not sure how they are going to block it, but they mentioned that they will be blocking it. Now, the second thing they mentioned is about the pip installation. So whenever you install a new custom node, it tells you to go into that custom node folder and then type in pip install dash r requirements.txt or it's going to be done automatically by either running a batch file. So in here, they mentioned that while it is convenient, this practice comes with significant risk including supply chain attacks and dependencies conflicts. So to address this, they mentioned that incremental additions of pip installs will be blocked immediately. And within six months, all nodes using runtime package installation will be banned. So again, we are seeing the same trend here where they are going to ban that particular package completely. Now, I think this change is coming because the Comfy UI manager is default part of Comfy UI desktop. And since they are pushing the Comfy UI desktop out, they say here that there's no reason for custom nodes to install packages at runtime. So basically, Comfy UI desktop will have all the necessary dependencies installed and packaged together. And all you need to do is to get the relevant code instead of installing additional packages. They also mentioned that it's a bad user experience to reload Comfy UI every time you enable, disable, or install a new custom nodes. Now, the next topic that they mentioned is about code obfuscation. And it says here that it's harder to review. Now, their measures for this would be, again, sending messages that has these code patterns, basically multiple statement, undefined variables, etc. And they will be blocking custom nodes that obfuscate their code. Now, alongside these preventing measures, Comfy UI has also introduced detective measures to catch security threat early. And the team have developed AI and static analysis tools to scan custom nodes for any suspicious behavior. These nodes will be flagged and will also be banned. And they also mentioned that they have a security channel that has been operating for internal reviews and they also have a public discord channel so if you have any doubts and you'd like to participate you can join their discord channel now as their future roadmap they mentioned a couple of key points the first one being a security process these are basically a verified check mark that you see on x or twitter and they are going to implement something similar inside of company UI. So any company UI custom node authors can have their code review and marked as verified. The second one that they mentioned is about sandbox version of company UI. And this one I talked about in my last video. They also mentioned about Docker. Now they also mentioned here a corrective measure. Basically, there will be a new mechanism inside of Comfy UI Manager, which will allow users to remotely remove, disable, or spin down malicious custom nodes without updating Comfy UI. So I think this is a good one because not a lot of people update their Comfy UI every day. So if this is implemented, they will be able to disable those custom nodes right away. 
And they also talk about how you can be part of this security process. You can join the forum, you can join the Discord, you can email them. And they also put some of the questions which I'm guessing people have asked. And those are quite interesting questions. We, of course, talked about installing dependencies. We have the Git, which uh, is also used to Git clone. They also added this question here about permission management. As of right now, it is true that Comfy UI has access to all the files on your system. Nobody is preventing a developer from getting access to it. Of course, based on your default Windows firewall or Windows Defender, that's all. Now, if you're a developer, they also mention about a CLI tools. It says here, what can I do as a custom node developer? Basically, it tells you that you can download the latest version of Comfy UI CLI and then run Comfy UI node, validate in the custom node directory. They also mention here that in case you need the evaluate or execute function you can let them know and maybe they are going to implement it in a different way maybe using a common api to allow you to use the same functionality as the evaluate or execute functions all right so that was a quick update from the developers themselves it's great that we got to see what's the roadmap and what's happening when it comes to comfy wire security this is an important topic like i mentioned in my last video all right, so thank you for watching until the break and have a nice day. Take care. I will see you next time.